Okay, here we are with turn 14. Move on to the investigator phase. I don't think this game's going to last much longer, to be frank with you. We are not in a good place. We've got Vanderbilt, himself, and his wife. Because somebody broke her urn and spilled all of her ashes everywhere. Mm, I wonder who that was. I am going to try to bash Vanderbilt's brains in with my crowbar. Um, yeah. I don't have a spell that would do anything better, I don't think, so. Brain bashing it is. With a heavy weapon. Your muscles tense as you throw your weight into your swing. Make a strength difficulty two check. I get two successes and two... Um, clue icon, so I pass. If you pass, the impact hurls your foe aside. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. Then move the monster one space. If you fail, you... Okay, so, I, so I'm so i going to... Huh? Well, I was going to say, if you spend those... I'm going to spend my focused to convert my two clue t icons to successes. So I'm going to do a total of six damage. Ooh, which is exactly what I needed to do. And by killing Vanderbilt, I actually become focused again. So I'll take my focus right back. And uh, well, so we'll get rid of him. So maybe we're not in as horrible of a problem right. as we thought. So I will spend my second action actually to search. We're going to ignore the ghost? I figure you can take care of it with your wither spell. Hopefully. Like you did the witch. No, no pressure or anything. Just do it. <laughs> a weathered door at the end of the hall is cracked open. You hear bizarre noises from the other side. Oh, good. It is a long one. As you open the door to the yard, a damp wind kicks ash from a nearby fire pit into the air of the walled-off side yard. A massive circle of runes has been carved into the earth. Discard this explore token and place the yard two tile as indicated. Uh oh. The air is electric with an unearthly energy, and the entire scene is bathed in a sickly green glow. You are too late. A massive rift to another world has been opened. On the other side, bizarre cyclopean architecture of carbon rock is built at angles that defy understanding. An inhuman script adorns the structures, winding over their surfaces. Place an interact token as indicated. I don't think I want to. <laughs> you may move one space into the explored area. Mm, yeah, yeah I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I mean, it's gonna take me two actions... A full action to get over there anyway, regardless. So I'll just stay here in case Sister Mary needs some help. The investigation is complete if the portal has been closed before it tears the mansion to pieces. Investigators win the game when the investigation is complete. How, how the hell do we close it? Hopefully I'm, we'll know once we interact with that token. Hopefully. So this is what the board looks like right now. So we added this tile and put an interact token here. And we moved Vanderbilt off because I gave the skull in. And that just leaves Mrs. Vanderbilt, the g host And that leaves Sister Mary. Who will attempt her wither spell. Caught up the monster drawer. The ghost attack with a spell. You select a hex you believe will affect an incorporeal being. Make a lore 2 check. My lore is 4. Well, you have a clue token. All you need to do is spend the clue token. And it's going to suffer damage equal to the spell's effect. Oh, all you're going to need to do is succeed. Okay. 
So I will spend a clue token to so turn what, what she got, because we don't have it on the screen, she got one success and three clue icons. So she's spending a clue token to convert one of those clue icons to a success. So now she has two successes. If you pass, you speak the magic words like a true sorcerer. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. Which is four. Mm -hmm. So that gets rid of the ghost. And then it said to flip the card over. So now she's going to flip the spell over. The spell writhes in your mind like a living thing, lashing out at random around you. Suffer one face down damage. Uh oh. Then discard this card and gain another wither spell. One face down damage, unfortunately, puts me at my limit of six. All right. So let's take a look and see what happens when an investigator reaches their health limit. Wounded. You we'll see here, page 12 of the Learn to Play. When an investigator has suffered damage, whether face up or face down, equal to his health, the investigator becomes wounded. When an investigator becomes wounded, he gains a wounded condition and discards all of his face down damage. So discard all your face down damage. That means they get shuffled back into the damage deck. And then in the condition pile, there should be a wounded condition. While wounded, an investigator cannot perform the move action more than once each round. When a wounded investigator has suffered, dam suffered damage equal to his health, that investigator is eliminated. So that's one of the things I like about this game. You can, you know, suffer your damage, and you're not just dead and it's not just game over. You can't do the move action twice, which sucks, but it is certainly not the end of the world. And since we are in theory, very close to the end of the right. game, and I only have to move two spaces. Right. Hopefully. Hopefully. And you found the wound. I did. So that just reminds you, you can't you can't take the move action more than... Okay. The card just re reiterates exactly what you just read. Okay. So that's it. That's what happens when you get wounded. Not, not terribly shabby at all. And she is on her last bit. So that only took one of your actions. Correct. So, and you got your new wither spell? I got my new wither spell, yes. Okay. So I am kind of thinking maybe we should move into that space together. So just wait. So here. I will not use my second action. I will actually I can use my I have a feed the mind spell. Yep. Which takes an action. It says you and another investigator within range become focused, flip this card. You're already focused, so it doesn't do a whole lot for you. Didn't you become focused with your holy water? I don't remember you using it. I remember you took holy water. You're right. I don't, I don't think remember. I, ever, I don't think I ever did use it. Well, then I will grab a focus thing, and I will not use my feed the mind. You can take a trade action with me. Take my candles. You cast spells more than I do. Hmm, okay. And that's where we're going to end this turn. So we're going to go to the Mythos phase, and fingers crossed, nothing comes out of that portal. Without warning, your feet take, uh, take off under someone else's command. After what seems like hours, you are back where you started, and the exhausting trip ends. Each investigator suffers two face-down damage. Strength negates. Oh, so for mine, I neg I got four successes and a failure, so I, I ignore my damage. Mary got one success and two clue icons. So she could either suffer the one damage or use her cigarette case. I will use my cig... <sighs> it's the mythos phase, so you might as well. Yeah, I will use my cigarette case. All right, so we've negated all the damage. I negated it with straight up successes. Mary got one success and two clue icons and used her cigarette case to turn one of those icons into a success. And that's going to bring us to turn 15, which we will start on the next video.